Hello everyone. We are the Hydroelectric Relay Upgrade Senior Design Team. This team consists of Andrew Crippen, Jan Daniel Jagasar, New Lee, and myself, Adam Fowler. Our project is sponsored by AECC, which is the Arkansas Electric Cooperative Corporation. I will now pass it to New. The purpose of this project was to develop and upgrade the mechanical predictive relaying system at the Carl S. Wallach Hydroelectric Generation Station, Generation Station to a microprocessor-based system. The significance of this project is that it would improve the overall efficiency of the generation station by reducing the cost of maintaining the protective relaying system and the task relative to its operation. This upgrade for the generation station included the upgrading of the protective relaying system for the generation station's generators, separate transformers, and auxiliary transformers. From here, I will hand it off to Adam to talk about the background. The primary objective of the prote protection system is to keep the hydroelectric facility running stable and in the event of a fault, minimize the amount of the power system that is affected. The protection system is created using relays that monitor voltages and currents at various locations in the system using voltage and current transformers. When fault conditions occur, the relay or relays that sense the fault will operate their respective devices, either lockout relays or circuit breakers, and those will minimize the impact of the fault. It is imperative that the protective system functions properly as improper response can severely damage generation equipment, which can further damage employees in the plant and cause customers to lose power. I will now pass it to Andrew. As a part of this project, we were set to the task of creating three different kinds of drawings. The one line and three line diagrams, which you see in the solution implementation section of our poster, as well as the DC control schematics. These three kinds of drawings were then compiled into our ETAP model, which allowed us to simulate how the system would react to different stimulus in terms of voltage, current, and frequency. Uh, the models combined with our own calculations were then brought together to come up with our relay settings, which were the parameters for each of the different kind of, kinds of relays that needed to be set. In our solution implementation section, you can see uh, some of how the protection zones overlapped, um, as well as the lockouts or the relays that would shut down parts of the system when something went wrong. Those lockouts are marked in green. And then in the three line section, you can see more of that overlap. And I pass it off to Daniel. So in conclusion, like during the lifespan of this project, we su successfully completed the one line diagram and three line diagrams, three in total, for our power system to show how each phase connects to feeder lines, instrument transformers, and other protective devices. Following this, six control schematics were deduced and verified to validate connections from instrument transformers to relays, relays to lockouts, and other connections to major power e equipment. For our settings, electrical power system analysis software, ETAP, was used to determine fault conditions for CT accuracy classes. Using the aforementioned alongside with short circuit analysis, load flow analysis, and data for the HSN generator unit provided from AECC, we then use these to complete relay settings for that proposed for protection of the units. Thank you for listening to our presentation.